Hello and welcome to my review of Mio Mio. Mio Mio is starring Lily Collins and Julie Andrews, I believe. I not I think so. Pretty sure. But I could be wrong, so if I'm wrong, sorry. Now, this film is a twist on Snow White as Julie Andrews I'm sorry. <coughs> got a bit of cold. Snow Snow White is played by Lady Collins, Julie Andrews is the evil queen, sends him out to be killed by a beast, and she meets the seven dwarves who are bandits. And before all this happens, she meets a prince, Prince Charming, uh, and we all know how this is going to turn out. They fall in love and all that, so if, if it wasn't predictable enough. But this puts a very clever twist on it, I'll give it that. I mean... The whole point of the beast in this film, I'll get to that in the spoiler section, is very cool and how they think it's a monster, and Snow White become how they think it's like, I'm sorry, I said monster, that really doesn't give you a summary, how they think it's like, oh, it can kill anything, and it's unbeatable, there's a twist to that, it's pretty good. Now let me just say, this film, I didn't have any expectations, was okay, it was charming at parts. There were parts where I actually liked these people. Although I couldn't relate to any of the characters, which is really bad. It wasn't like super late where I could pick which character I was. I was a fat kid. Just like Jeremy John said in a video, I'm proud to be the fat kid. <laughs> and the whole story about how they're bandits and not just normal dwarves who mine, I think that was kind of clever. I think it was good. And all the dwarves weren't like the same, even though in the Disney Snow White, I'm not trying to say they were the same, sorry, I have a bad shaky camera, I'm not saying they were the same, I'm just saying this felt like they were even more diverse than the other one, and I really can't say much without spoiling this film, so I'm sorry if you haven't seen it, come back, watch the rest, and you'll find out why I give it what I gave it, I'm going to give it a two and a half out of four stars. Now, the reason I give it now for the spoiler section, if you have not seen me or me or do not watch this, I really liked um, the whole the whole beast on how it looked. I thought that was very good special effects. I felt like the casting designs were very good, and Snow White, she was hot. <laughs> Also, I thought it was cool that the meal meal wasn't just doing as she said. She, like, you know, they had some witty dialogue, I believe. And I also felt like... This movie is, yes, very forgettable, but also very fun for the time being. And I saw this with a group of, you know, normal kids, and they just, they were in love with it. And obviously, I can tell they gave this four out of four stars. They were laughing out loud. And I was glad I saw that. So for the kids, it's four out of four stars. Me, two and a half out of four stars. So, also, I really did enjoy, you know... Arnie Hamill as the prince, I felt like he was quite good in the film. Again, unrelatable characters, but even as him, he was the funniest, in my opinion. I really enjoyed him. I also enjoyed one of these dwarfs who kind of had a crush on Snow White, just because uh, he understood what I was thinking. Wow, Snow White's hot. And, you know, it's just, I'm sorry, I couldn't, can't stop focusing and that, and like, there was this whole montage scene, which was really good when they were training on how to be a thief, that was cool, and also, I really enjoyed that final fight, you know, when they were fighting the beast, and how she was connected to the beast, and she told him to eat his father, and, uh, eat her father, I'm sorry, uh, and how it was Bormeo from Lord of the Rings, I love that, I love Lord of the Rings, and I love Bormeo, so it was awesome. So, again, I give this movie a two and a half out of four stars for forgettableness but entertaining for the time being.